hours when I was coming in this morning. Well, they're out there now. Everything's kind of clear right now, but we did expect a couple of morning showers. They have a light southeast flow, lots of moisture around, and so we'll see that again, maybe by about mid morning or so, but so far a clean sweep on our first warning radar, so we'll take that. Meanwhile, the three tropical storms, none of them are really going to affect South Florida, so that's pretty much a miracle in its own right. Fred is moving up through the southern states. Grace is going to go well to our south into the southern Gulf, and Henri is going to go out to sea, so that's a blessing. Meanwhile, we're just going to see the late day afternoon showers and storms again here. It's ultimately hot and humid though as you start 82 in West Palm. We're in the low 80s as well on the Treasure Coast, 77 in Indian Town. And before it's all said and done, the daytime high of about 90, which is average this time of the year. Really going to bring in the highest storm chances at about 1 o'clock or so with that early sea breeze. It'll persist into about 4 or 5 o'clock this evening, and then we'll be just muggy again as we head into the overnight hours. I've got more for you on the tropics and what we can expect as we advance through the week in a little bit.